America is known as the land of opportunity, and three brothers from the Democratic Republic of Congo are proving that saying true right here in the key city. KRBC's Kelsey Pittman has our top story at 10. It was not an easy path for the Sebahizi brothers to get to the key city, but now that they are here, they say Abilene is a great place to live because they were able to find jobs, a low cost of living, and a lot of community support. They slaughtered us, like our friends, our, our loved ones, for two hours without fighting back. Imagine being slaughtered for two hours without fighting back. So even most of us, or most of our friends, were burned alive. Something the three Sebahizi brothers dealt with in their village in the Democratic Republic of Congo. I'm from an ethnic group called the Banyamulenge, and we are very marginalized in the Congo, discriminated against. Fleeing the country in 2004 to a refugee camp in the neighboring country. People came and attacked uh, our refugee camp and killed many people. From the refugee camp to a safe haven, getting approved for a visa to come to America. Their first stop, San Diego. When I came here, I didn't speak. I was not able to speak English. Manoa, the oldest brother, was the first brother to move to Abilene. He came here because of other family members already living here. We prefer to leave the big family together because we help each other. Next, the youngest brother, Fidel, then Patrick, making Abilene their permanent home. Over there we you, you, you can't get a job, you know. There's no jobs and um, the life from there is, is difficult, you know. You can't get money, but here it's better because you can work at whatever you need and uh, you can get money to feed your family. Each taking their own career path, but using their experiences to find their passion. I grew up experiencing discrimination against my people, so I, I always wanted to do something different. So I, I wanted to make a difference. That's why, that's why I decided to join the police. Fidel is now an Abilene police officer protecting and serving. Patrick going to school and wanting to get into politics. And Manoa working for the school district and he's an evangelist. I wanted always to make a difference. So that's why I'm doing, I'm, I'm learning. And I do politics maybe. I think I have a lot of to change in my country. It's different locations, but the gospel of Jesus is the same. All three still going to school to further their careers. His mom's going to work full time, you know. Now I have to work part time so I can get time to uh, to go to school and to stay with kids. While their futures are unknown, they are still thankful to be in Abilene and raise their kids in America. To be honest with you, I don't know exactly who I'm going to be in the future, but I hope I'm going to make a difference on this earth. Each brother is raising a family here and are thankful their children will grow up in the key city. In studio, Kelsey Pittman, KRBC, Abilene's Local News.